How's everybody doing? I am so happy to be off, people. You have no flipping idea. So, football season is back in service. Service? Sure. Um, and, you know, people get all kinds of crazy ruckus during football season. Yes, I'm taking off my pants. And what are you going to do about it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this one is. I really don't. Oh! God, that is so embarrassing for you, not me, because I live in this shirt, honestly. I'm not technically sure why, uh, and why I am looking around like a suspicious fool is because, you know, you know. I don't know why I find the need to start talking to the camera with nothing to say for one and for two when I'm halfway ready and or dressed. <laughs> oh look! Aren't these so beautiful? Five dollars on Amazon and five dollars for super glue and you have you some nails that will never come off. You're gonna have to get some wrenches. What are those things called? Pliers to ply them off. But they're so cute. Yay. And I am looking for something that I can't find. Basically, I um, am always scatterbrained because I've got too much junk. You know, this is what I do. I clean like once a month. <laughs> Who are we getting? And then I uh, end up accumulating all the junk that I cleaned out. Like whenever I first clean and get rid of and organize and declutter and just only take the things that I necessarily have to have around me or in my space, I feel like such an amazing, an amazing human being that it's, you know, it's just so liberating to just feel so freeing that all the junk and chaos is just not around me and surrounding me and just bottling me down, bombarding me down. And now we're at the end of the month stage where I have accumulated everything that I got rid of. See how that works. And then I get all again and then I have to clean and then I'm like, hmm. It's true. Once you clean your car, your house, your purse, I mean, look at this. Like, does that look like a good time? What did you see in there? Also, there's people around me that see me vlogging, so I will talk to you later if I have something to talk about, which usually I don't. I don't even know why I started this conversation. Yeah, I made it home now. Ew. And uh, I have nothing else to say, pretty much. I was just excited to get off, finally. It was a long day. People were very drinkish during the weekends. And that's all, folks. <laughs> ah, I'm so I don't think y'all really understand exactly how impressed I am with my side of the closet. Sorry, the fan is on. That's why you can hear that background noise. But see, Brandon's is always just like this. Very nice, organized, neat. It's so perfection always and my side was a wreck it still kind of is a wreck i mean i'm not gonna lie i'm not like that but i'm pretty darn close these are our boxes this box down here is a lot of memories and photos that i'm gonna have to squash later because that is going to take a lot of my time people to get through and assort all the memories and photos and everything that i have had since high school before high school and it's going to be kind of hard to do so this one is my t-shirts in hands and stuff this is my collection of sweatshirts because i am a sweatshirty type of a person i wear sweatshirts all year long even in the summer 
it's cold indoors people and then down here is we have a mattress we have some purses which i got rid of a lot of purses oh my gosh and just you know random halloween costumes and such for a rainy day that is some christmas presents over here is my robes and my fancy cardigans and bras and sports bras and I just put my Hooter stuff over here because, you know, I'm that's something I get often. That is not organized per se, but that is like Christmas wrappings and papers. Just as we got up there, got some shoes. Oh, 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 up in there we got some shoes too. And over there we got some Christmas stuff too that I need to wrap. And back there we got some hats and we got some sewing stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then in here, this is even organized too. We got my shoes, my workout shoes. And we got some, those are really good. These things right here. My feet are always cold, and so we got feet warmers. Boom. So there's that. And then over here, we have, you know, our workout balls. We got a bunch of balls back here. Pun intended. And then we have my bag, my workout bag, that is. And then we have a whole bunch of workout gear, you know, those things that you put around your ankles and mats and a bench and I'm not going to show you my face because I look horrific so I'll let you look at my feet basically what inspired me to do this was like I said previously in the vlog where I you know just want to be very clean I want to be very minimalistic and it really does feel good I definitely suggest if you're in a funk to get you your gloves out no gloves needed maybe some cute socks because you're gonna be running around a lot but just get rid of a whole bunch of junk. And I kind of just did some kind of a purging situation where I had a big old trash bag and I'm like, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this, and yada, yada, yada. And while I did this, I was listening to this audiobook called The Magic of Tidying Up. And let me tell you, that book is amazing. It really is. I love her method to it. I love everything about it just clicked like an aha moment. So yeah and that is what inspired me to get rid of a lot of junk and I have to tackle you know I'm not somebody that just did it all. I mean it's going to take a process but I did a very good portion of it. So also there's another area. Now this is my panty drawer so I just don't know if I should show you. We got a little bit of let me just hide some stuff over here. You can't really see the drawer, but I have it all divided like thongs and then panties and then, um, you know, com cozy socks. And so I'm just really excited. I also did my makeup this way and um, I'll show you all that on another time because I'm not quite done with that. But this is kind of cool and I feel kind of better. And um, it is amazing. Like she discusses this a, a lot in the book. Not only does she gives you tips and a different way to thinking about all the belongings that we think that we need to have, but she also goes into how to do it, kind of just changes your mentality and perception of what you actually need in your life. And it's pretty empowering when you get rid of a lot of stuff because really you only need the basics and the necessities. And don't get me wrong, I kept a lot of stuff that, you know, probably I don't really need and whatever, but I just love this. Anyways, but the method is the Kamari method. I spoke about this on my channel before whenever I like went through the highlights of the book and I just kind of like went through the summaries of it but I went through the entire book and it was it was awesome and it's it's kind of life-changing y'all so I suggest you listen to that it's only four hours long and listen to it while you twerk you know like twerk like work you know clean and yeah and let me see if I can show you anything in there no I probably don't need to that's a little bit messy but I got a box and that's a little bit organizing but I got some other stuff I, I'm not a folder I don't think I'll ever be especially for like workout tops but you get the gist and like up here oh